Former Ohio Secretary of State Ken Blackwell is a senior advisor to the Our Principles PAC. It's one of the group's leading anti-Trump efforts across the country. Ken, good to have you with us. Uh, we just heard there from Tony uh, the word desperation from one of the other voters he spoke to, and then learning that two voters were so turned off they're now going to vote for Trump. That is not exactly the outcome that this alliance, of course, had intended. When you look at this plan that was put together by the Cruz and the Kasich campaigns, is it simply too little too late? Well, no, I don't, I don't think so. Um, at the end of the day, this is about mutual self-interest. Those campaigns saw it as in their mutual self-interest to stop Donald Trump where they can do it uh, individually most uh, productively. And so, in fact, they decided where they would spend their resources and where they wouldn't. Uh, as, as a consequence, this is all about 1237 and stopping Donald from getting there. I think that that will uh, happen. I think he will not get to 1237. I think uh, he's going to have a, a decent day tomorrow uh, where there are uh, 118 uh, delegates at, at play. Uh, but then, as you have mentioned in your reporting, Indiana is ground zero. And I think Donald has hurt himself. It seems to be a more conservative electorate. Uh, I think that his in, in, in embrace of uh, a big government uh, effort in, in terms of health care and his, uh, his attack on religious liberty and uh, his uh, fundamental uh, history of having supported liberal Democrats will not play to his interests uh, in, in, uh, in Indiana a week from this coming Tuesday. So as a consequence, I think that this is going to play out just fine. Cruz had a good weekend. Uh, I think that he'll have a good uh, week uh, next week in, in Indiana. Uh, and then it's a, a full-scale operation uh, in California. But let me just underscore something. This is about mutual self-interest. I think what John Kasich is doing is he's made a decision to drive his stock up. He wants to get to as close to 300 delegates as he possibly can get. He then becomes more attractive to both Trump and Cruz as a vice presidential pick. Uh, and so I think what he has done so is... you think this he, is about he's, setting he's himself up? Pick the strategy to drive up his stock. Let, me, let me ask you a little bit more. Though. You talk about the mutual self-interest. You say that this is really for both of them to stop Trump. That is, of course, the goal of the Our Principles PAC at this point. But it's pretty clear that the Stop Trump movement really seems to have lost steam at this point. There's not as much momentum after Wisconsin. There was a big decision not to spend money in New York. So I ask you then, in turn, you say this isn't too little too late, the combining of the Cruz and the K-6 for the alliance here. But is there too little too late from the Stop Trump movement as a whole? It really seems like it's just lost steam. No, well, look, you can tell that it hasn't lost steam because Trump is whining, Trump is complaining, and Trump is, uh, is pounding the table. There's an old lawyer's uh, line that if you can't win on the facts, pound the table. The reality is Trump understands that his tra trajectory to get to 1237 is not increasing, it is in fact decreasing. He's topped out at about 40% of the votes cast. He needs to win 58%. Uh, and there's nothing that indicates that his attack on rank and file Republicans, his attack on the Republican Party platform is going to do anything to get him at that 58%. As a matter of fact, this is a brilliant use of resources, period. Ken, Ken Blackwell joining us from the Our Principles back. Appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.